Hi y'all, welcome to a week in my life vlog. I haven't been able to film. These are my favorite videos that I post. So we're starting off on, actually not even a sad note, we're starting off on a good note due to what I thought was happening. I'm gonna try to share the story very quickly. Spoiler alert, Coco was okay. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw she's sitting right next to me. I've not left her side all day. I had the scariest night, like literally in my life last night. I woke up at midnight, she was next to me. I like touched her, she shrieked, and then I moved her and she couldn't walk. Like she was just wobbly and falling everywhere. And I freaked out. She went and hid under the bed, which scared me even more. I literally threw the mattress off, the mattress topper, grabbed her. We sped off to the bed. I think we were at the bed, like the emergency bed by like 12, 10. We get to the ER, they take her vitals. She's fine, but they're like, we're gonna hold her right now until you can get into a room with her um, because we don't know if she's gonna have a seizure or something. Long story short, after three hours there, two and a half hours, they tell me after like literally, I mean, I'm thinking the worst and I'm seeing the worst. She comes into the room. I'm like terrified out of my mind, comes into the room and she's like trying to run to me and she's just falling. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm literally gonna throw up. I'm literally gonna throw up. No one that I know is awake. My grandma wakes up and I'm like, oh my God, no, no, no. Cause you know, it's like a bad sign when your grandma wakes up and tells her that like, she's worried something bad happened. All that to say, they think she has IVDD or FCE. I'm thinking it's IVDD, which it's treatable. Whole thing. I'm thinking like the animal, like, is she ever gonna be able to walk again? And they're like, oh yeah, with the surgery. I'm like, I wish that they would have said that from the beginning. They didn't. She's fine. So she's on lots of meds. I've been with her all day. I've tried to get her in as early as possible. The earliest I can get her into a neurologist is Thursday. Today's Monday. She's on two meds right now. She's supposed to be on three, and I'm going to pick up the third one because I think her script finally arrived. Did you guys know that you can get dog medicine from CVS? Anyways, long story short. It's happy because Coco is going to be okay. But it was terrifying and I am just so happy she's gonna be okay. Anyways, that has been my Monday. It has been the Monday of all Mondays. It is currently like 5.30 p.m. It feels weird to be in my car on a weeknight once it's getting dark because you know, I don't leave my house. Just on mom duty today. But I hope you guys enjoy this week in my life vlog. Got a lot going on and we're gonna get to the bottom of this with Coco and her health journey. She's only seven, which is not that old. Like obviously I know it's not young, but like she's a morky, she's small, you know? Everyone, let's give Coco, let's send her some good thoughts. I ordered flower child for dinner. I didn't even have the script ready for Coco, but I did pick up a crate. I have a new crate coming tomorrow, but I wanted one for tonight, so I picked one up from my dad's house, and I just made it a little home for her. Oh, I wanted to unbox, this is very exciting. Margot's newest and first business, no particular order. So cute, a handwritten note, love her so much. Oh my God, like, the packaging is sick. It's just so perfect. Margot Lee, love her so much. Whenever your friends start new businesses, you need to be the customers. Like, don't be the people who are like wanting free stuff. It's very important to support them. Also, it's really, really hard. So anyways, that's why, that's like one of my like main things in life because it's very important. And it, I think it's just different too when you have like your own business and you realize like this is so difficult. I love journaling, as we know. So I am really, really, really excited. It's just like amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. It's a journal with so many different prompts. So cute, oh my God. Congrats, Margot, so exciting. This crate is obviously a little bit big for her, but I started filling it up and she has like walked into it herself. She's not a huge fan of crates, but it's very important that she's resting in a crate during recovery and also just like currently. So hopefully she ends up loving this. Also, my new phone case from Wildflower, like, it is so cute. I don't remember the last time I bought, like, a cute phone case or a phone case from Wildflower. Like, I think it's been, like, five plus years. I don't even know. But this one is so cute. So I had to get it. I got Flower Child for dinner. I need to record some stuff and send it in. Every episode for the next, like, month or remainder of the year is due tomorrow. So need to get to work on that. It's almost seven. I might just send in, like, this week's and then do the rest tomorrow. I don't know. I just, this has been a day. It is 9 p.m. and I finally finished sending in all the episodes through, like, the first week of January, which was a lot at once but they're all sent in. So I'm done with the podcast. Everything is sent in on my end, as far as episodes go, through the first week of January. And it is December 12th. So I'm feeling really on it. I do have like meetings and stuff for the next two weeks. There's other things that we're doing and like booking and stuff for the new year. But as far as the episodes, they're all sent in. I feel very accomplished. 
I'm also stressed because it is raining outside and Coco gets scared in the rain. She needs to sleep in her crate, but she like has to sleep on top of me when it's raining. So this is not set up well. It is the next day. It is almost 1 p.m. I have been on dog duty all day. I feel like this is the most boring vlog ever. I do have an Akatar, a court of, I don't think like you say Akatar. I think you say a court of thorns and roses. Update for y'all. I got a package from Skims that I ordered. I ordered this red dress to wear to our like Santa bar crawl this week and it came the day of. So I don't think I'll ever wear that, I don't really like red much. I just got my nails done. I canceled my workout and anything I couldn't take Coco to. She's been running errands with me all day. We picked up her prescription, went to Starbucks, got her nails done. We dropped fits off at the groomers. Pretty soon she's gonna grab a mic and start working with me. I ended up staying up like really late last night getting all the work done that I needed to do today. I had like a wave of energy. I really want this week to be like a little bit more chill and I wanted to do more festive things, but I'm just too afraid to leave Coco by herself. So maybe I'll watch some movies from home or just read. I just wanted like a chill, cozy week. This weekend we're going to the lake for my family's Christmas, um, like little trip. We're going to our lake house. And I got myself some cute Skims pajamas. I figured these would be perfect for the lake house. I'll link these. They're really, really, really warm. And they're like so cute. I love brown and black together. Guys, I'm having really bad allergies. Like I think I'm sick now. I got a whole new coffee set up. I just replaced this espresso because it's just never gonna work. I got a new frother which I didn't really need. So I, I'm looking at the one that I have right here. I don't know why I ordered that. I think it came with it. And then new Nespresso pods, and we're gonna have a new coffee situation. I promise this week is gonna get more entertaining. Um, we have so much going on. We have a pop-up. Um, Alyssa is getting engaged, my cousin, on Thursday. So it's gonna be a really good time. Anyways, I have to give Coco all of her meds. I'm not okay. Also, I'm a pharmacist in the back. That's all Coco's meds. As you guys know, I've been reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, the first book. Everyone is like so obsessed with with it. I read the first half of it like fine. I got to 50% last night and I was like this is so work. I'm like so not into it and then at 50% it really picked up so I'm gonna go finish that today have a little cozy day and I think I will end up really liking it. We'll see I don't know if I'm gonna like read all five or if I'm even gonna like read immediately after Okay, I gave Coco all of her meds and she is really wobbly. I think it might be a side effect of wobbly or of um being drowsy, I'm not really sure, but just keeping a close eye on her. Oh no, let's, okay, let's lay down. Let's lay down, girl. Let's just stay there. I ordered some um, ramen. I don't feel great at all, like literally at all. I have the cold, so I feel like a man, but I just don't feel good. So I ordered ramen food. I'm in the middle of reading. I'm gonna catch up on the Cold Bowl reality TV show. I'm gonna stop vlogging about this soon, but I've literally been sobbing because the new men's Coco's On are muscle relaxers and she like obviously couldn't walk again and I just freaked the fuck out like oh my god I mean it is a side effect and I mean it's a muscle relaxer like what do you expect she really looks like coconut from American Girl that's what she's like after but thank god my sister's gonna help me later I think I'm just gonna end vlogging for now because this whole vlog has been really boring but later this week it's gonna be better tomorrow it's gonna be better so don't worry it is now Wednesday this has been the biggest mess of a week. I wanted to go do festive stuff the past two days, couldn't do it. Tonight, I am hosting the Bumble BFF like supper club at Ficini. I'm sure there's other people who are hosting it. I just don't know who else is, but like seven of my friends are coming. I got to invite them, it's gonna be fun. We love Ficini. I'm on my way to go get a blowout. I'm packing my bag right now. The bag that like literally holds everything, including my Kindle. I am on like so many meds right now. Sometimes when I lay around my house for like days at a time, because I only do that when I'm sick, I like convince myself that I'm sick and I'm not sick, you know? I have a lot of meetings today. I have the Bubble BFF Summer Club tonight. I have some brand deals I need to film and post and send in. I'm not leaving Coco alone, even though a lot of dogs live with IVDD, I know, but um, I am just not leaving her alone. So her dog sitter is gonna come here with the dogs while I'm getting my blowout and then tonight she'll also have a sitter. I got a new crate for her, like a smaller one that's more of her size. So I think I'm actually gonna set this up really fast before I leave. Also, I tanned last night. My face looks crazy because it hasn't like washed off yet, but like my neck, moment of silence. <clears throat> I also bought Athletic Greens myself, not sponsored. And in days like today, it's because in Texas, the weather will go from like 70 degrees to 30 the next day. 
And because of that, I get sick with the weather dropping so much. Not like really, like I just get like a bad cold. But I will say they've been worse than normal. I honestly like don't mind the taste of this. It's whatever. I mean, I also like green juice, so keep that in mind. But I really don't mind this. Blowout is done. It's. I got the dirty martini, which I never get. This looks like literally nothing like the dirty martini looks on their thing, but it's going to fall. And like I said, I always look at crazy at first because it'll fall. I also booked an IV because IVs always help me and I just have to get past this cold. I also have a breakout in the middle of my nose, guys. Like it's actually comical. It's comical. But I have got to be on my A game. So I'm gonna go get this IV. I can work from um, getting my IV and then hopefully things will start to pick up. I am feeling better. It's just like, I feel like you can hear that I'm really nasally. Like it's just like a bad cold, so. And like I feel stupid for being like a cold bothers me, but like I just don't feel great, you know, at all. One thing about me is that an IV is going to cure all. I feel so much better. I don't know if it's placebo. I don't know if it's reality. I don't care, okay? I feel better. Obviously, I still sound not great, but I feel so much better. So I'm heading home. I have a meeting with Dear Media, with Geneva. I have to shoot Skims and Plan B, and then I have the dinner tonight. I've said that so many times in this vlog. Oh, I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses, or the Akatar series. You guys have got to tell me if it's embarrassing to be saying like the acronym like that. Like, I just don't know. I gave it a review on my KE book club, my bookstagram, if you will, and I, I got some people who are a little bit mad at me, I think. I knew going into this series that I was going to commit to probably the first two books because everyone says the first one's like okay, or a lot of people have said the first one's like okay, but the second one is where it really gets good. Listen, I'm not a fantasy girly. But I did love Twilight, okay? And that was like my favorite book growing up. I also loved The Hunger Games, I've read, like all that stuff I was into, okay? So I was like, maybe I do like fantasy more than I, than I think I do. So I read the first one and honestly, the first half of the book, I don't even know if I really comprehended it because I was just like not into it. Like I felt like it was just slow. I didn't really get what was going on. I was like, who is this? Like, I don't know, I just like wasn't like loving it but I wasn't hating it I just wasn't like hooked the last 50% or the last half is where things really picked up and I ended up enjoying it a lot more but even then I felt like at times so I was like all right how much longer I want to just be done but I did like it I rated it a three and honestly I, I was just because I'm like it's not a book that I was like dying for three is not bad and like it was it was okay like I'm not like super into it but I think I could see myself getting into it with the second book I've done that in other series too where I didn't even like the first one for some reason I read the second and then I loved it so I will be reading the second one don't even worry but let me tell you these fans are really not having my review they called me stupid and they called me dumb and you know what guys honestly I get it. I feel that way too when people review my favorite books so wrongly. But like everyone just has different tastes and I am not the like demographic that would typically like this book. You know what I mean? But I do know that the book is known as like even if you don't like fantasy, you like this book. You know what I mean? So we'll see. I would love to just get like sucked into a series, especially next week cuz I'm getting my chin done. Um so we'll see. We will see. Also, I don't know if y'all have even seen my nails up close. I got red with chrome. I saw someone else do it on like TikTok or something weeks ago. And I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. I did get red nails because of the red nail theory like a month ago. And I feel like I liked it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not like a red girl. It's just like not my color. But I do really like these nails and I feel like they're festive, you know? I really hope this IV just like fully cures me and like my nose as well. Yeah, my hair, by the way, it's really interesting. Like, I just don't understand, like, it's not at all what I asked for, but I feel like it's gonna fall well. We'll see. I finished my meetings. We went over 2023 merch. I did say that it was gonna be the end of Brown Housewife, but I just don't think we're there yet. I've heard y'all's request for 
the Navy Broadwinding Housewives set to come back and I'm, I'm doing what I can to get maybe like a little core collection, if you will. My body feels good, my head hurts, but it's like a, like a headache from like a cold. It's like you can take the girl out of LA, but you really can't take the LA out of the girl. For the record, I'm taking Dayquil and stuff as well. Thank God I finished all my recordings for like the rest of the year. Those are due this year, because can you imagine if I sounded like this? Okay, so I have two shots. I don't know what is what. And listen, people are like, oh gross. But if you can take a shot of tequila, you can take this, okay? Tequila is easier than these guys look at fits right now. I don't know if I, I don't remember what I've been vlogging this week, but he got a haircut and I mean, he just looks so handsome. He looks a little bit funny, but he looks handsome. Second shot, it's currently 4 p.m. I'm gonna shoot some skim stuff. The girls are coming at six and then we're heading off to Pacini for dinner. I'm just really grateful for my life. I was thinking about how earlier this month I felt like I was a failure. And then I had like my year recap meetings or like one of them and I was like, I'm not a failure, so that's my update. Not that I should let that define if I feel like I'm a failure or not, but I was just being a diva, I think is what I was being. Okay, next one. This one looks a little bit, um, yeah. That one was a lot easier, okay. I've mentioned this before, but I need y'all's help. I really want to do a drink. So I'm working with, slash I'm a chair on the board or I'm a chair for, I'm a chair for the family place. I'm new to this. I don't know the right way to phrase this. One in three women in Texas are abused, which is obviously like crazy. It's every form of abuse. Um, just really sad. Anyways, I'm doing a lot of things with them next year that I really want to just get the ball rolling on and just ways to like make money, um, maybe get more people involved, maybe make more people aware, like things like that. And you know, since I've really truly like a book or a drink influencer, I would love to have a drink in um, like, honestly the rustic would be a dream or where else? Tribal is like my number one, like my good morning drink. I would love to like have a drink there that weekend. That's like the Kenzie Elizabeth drink or like the week or the month or whatever to where it's benefiting the family place. So you go in there and like all of their like profits for that drink goes to the family place. I would love to do that. But if you guys can think of any good places in Dallas slash if you know or work or live in Dallas or like have any sort of connections, let me know because I really want to do that. And I just, I, I just have to figure out who threw. Anyways, I'm drinking my juice. It's actually, this one's not bad. <sighs> wow. I'm gonna give y'all a little garden update. So, obviously, we're really doing something here. Here is my kale. I feel like it's getting really bunched in the middle. We've got some arugula. It has been pouring. Like, the past two days, it rained so hard. Then over here, we have some onions. This is actually carrots. Like things are really, are really happening here. Hey okay, guys, I'm Dom finished. just FaceTimed me. Okay, so look at what I'm wearing. I was taking my Skims content and this is what Dom was wearing. I literally had this on 30 seconds ago. Yeah, and I was like, literally. I answered and you couldn't see and then I go, Dom. Yeah, so we're just two Skims girlies. Guys, Coco's doing so much better. Yay. Thank God, she really, really scared us. She scared us so bad. She really did. I really can't get over how cute my phone case is. Wildflower. Um, me and all the girls are going to a Bumble BFF dinner. All your faves. Lauren, Tess, Marissa was going to, but she can't. All the girls. Um, Jessica. Um, Janelle. Um, yeah. Sorry. Damn. Wish you were coming. No, you don't. Mm, okay. Alright, guys. We're off. <laughs> oh, off we go. Like a dream. Oh. <laughs> No flash. Oh, whoa. I was about to say no flash, and it was literally just. Boom. Perfect. So perfect. Ah. Over here. Oh. Over here? I'm just kidding. I want My god, I can't deal with it. I can't deal. <laughs> Lauren is thanking everyone for coming to her event. It's so nice to have you guys all here at the support. Wow. 
stuff that I get from dolls is just outpouring. <laughs> Like it. Nothing like it. The things that you guys do for me, like the lace that you The bar to, crawl. Like, like the Santa bar crawl. crawl. <laughs> that was incredible. Like my 25th was something to remember. As well as my 24th. It's an annual thing. I don't know if you guys know. You're more than welcome to come next year. <laughs> actually so much fun and I got to dress up like Santa, turn 25, and now I get this incredible dinner. What a week. What a week. <laughs> this is how you know you've just given up. This new wagon thing is great. Okay, second. Oh my god. Oh, too soon. Do you think it's because of me and the engagement chicken? It is. It's Everyone is replying this right now. Did this. It's all me. Did to be this. fair, 100%. I fully knew that you were yes. getting engaged when I made that chicken. I knew the date because I had already played it. But, but I will take the credit. Thank you very much. Thank you. My hair is very curly. I straighten my hair like every day. But like, so in the rain, like I'm not going to look great. It's going to be very ugly. So I'm like, whatever. I'll bring an umbrella. Forgot my umbrella. Mm -hmm. Get there. It's pouring rain, and he sees me, and he's like, hey, we walk into this building, and then out of the building into the ice sculptures. I'm like, doesn't even acknowledge that it's outside. <laughs> I'm like, I literally tried to tell you, but I didn't say anything. I'm like, okay. I'm from Alaska. Like, I've seen plenty of ice sculptures, so I'm like, are you done, like, looking around? Like, are you good? 